Are you ready? Who carries the momentum out of St. Louis? Drop the gate and let's go. Dungy and Tomac bar to bar through the first corner. Dungy with the early lead. Here comes Anderson as well. Oh, and Tomac stays high and makes his way around Anderson. Dungy to the next corner. Tomac on the inside. Contact at the top. Tomac's the leader. Wow. <laughs> Now, Look what's on Tomac's mind. He was not wasting any time to go to the front. Moose Kent's fighting with Anderson. They're squabbling over third. Meanwhile, the two title combatants run mano a mano at the top of the field. Tomac just in front of Dungy. Oh, but Moose Kent's got some speed. Marvin wants another win. Dungy has got to answer. He makes a little mistake. That's going to allow Tomac, or I'm sorry, Moose Kent to close up right there. Rick oh, big no. mistake. Dungy with a huge mistake over the finish line jump. Oh, look at that line that Muscan was drawing to the inside. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, man. That's going to cost him a little bit. There could have been chance right there. there. Jeff, there could have been contact. It could have been disastrous for him. Last couple of races have not been good for Malcolm, though. After a 10th at round 10, he went 19th and 20th in the last two. Sealy really pushing him hard, and the Honda rider. Looks like he's going to steal sixth position for now. Bogle behind him on the 19. He's close to within 2.1 seconds. Oh, not sure what that was right there out of Tomac, but that was not the quickest way. And look there what he happens. Is. The champ. You can see him. Starting to reel him back in. Tomac, Dungy. The championship fight playing on here in St. Louis. Here's Reed. Remember, Dungy and Reed had some issues earlier today. Dungy wasn't happy with the heave race when he had to get around Reed. Let's see what plays out here. Reed is in 16th, and Dungy's got to get around him so he can stay with Tomac. Reed ain't moving out of the way either. Blue, Blue flags flag. waving. Look at that, it went from 1.8 seconds last time around, already up to three seconds. If I'm Dungy right now, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit frustrated with Chad Reed, who obviously is running back 16th at the moment. And Chad's seen plenty of blue flags. He's been on the other side of this before, but he is not doing Ryan Dungy any favors at the moment. And he's right behind his teammate, Cooper Webb. Meanwhile, Tomax has opened up a pretty good gap. Another half a second that and time around. This is killing Ryan Dungey right now. Any chance he had is slipping away. Even if he clears, man, look at this. Oh, and then they missed that triple triple section. Now Reed pulls out of the way. And you got to wonder how Ryan's going to deal with the whole Chad Reed thing. I mean, he was right there. He closed back up on Tomac. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a big, big victory because I, I really wanted to see these two go down to it and see who was strongest at the end. Uh, not sure that we got the head-to-head -head race that I was really looking for uh, there, but certainly Tomac is showing that he's a gamer and, and he wants this title. Eli Tomac on his way. It will be his eighth win of the year. 12th of his career. Tied for 15th on the all-time win list. Eli Tomac wins five in a row. And here comes Ryan Dungey. The title fight separated by just four as the series heads west back to Seattle, the Pacific Northwest. Here we come with an incredible title fight headed to you. The goggles go into the grandstand. There's Dungy looking for Reed. Oh, no doubt about That's it. That's who he wants to see, Chad Reed. Well, and this is just the type of distraction that Dungy doesn't need. Right, his focus yes. should be on Tomac Absolutely. and himself. Wow. 
Twitters. I, hey, the Twittersphere is going to be blowing up tonight. And Reed, a two-time champion in his own right, just rode off into the tunnel. Today was a little bit rough, you know. Um, may not have shown it, but it didn't really feel a whole lot of great. I mean, a whole lot of good. But uh, you know, we, we got down the main. I was able to capitalize and go back and uh, figure out my start there. That was huge. Totally jacked it up in the heat race once again, but came back out there and uh, nailed it in the main. And then after that, uh, made the pass early and uh, tried to try to do what I could to open up a little bit of space. But Ryan was there a lot of a lot of that moto, so uh, kept me honest the whole time. But uh, you know, we just kept pressing on. So uh, pretty cool.